What's good everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. If you guys remember in the last episode, we have a game against Sheffield Wednesday and West Ham in the Carabao Cup. The West Ham game I am pretty scared of. Alright, I just realized my, my OBS was on full screen, so you guys didn't even see what I was talking about. But pretty much we're we're you guys get the gist of things. You pretty much heard what I said there. We're facing Sheffield right now. Here we go. My apologies. I did not mean to have my full screen webcam. We haven't played as great as we usually have in the past couple of episodes. We've struggled a little bit. We haven't played our usual selves, unfortunately. But last game, we were able to make some good assists. Just no goals, really. We got maybe one in the last game, and it wasn't even like... I just it didn't feel fulfilling. We definitely need to play better. We need to pick up a big victory here. I don't want a 1-0. I want like a 2 or 3-0. And then we have West Ham after that, where we really cannot afford to play crap. We need to play out our full performance, and that's a good start. That's a really, really good start there. I didn't put anything in. That's all my teammates, and I'm thankful for that. And this Cantwell guy with this terrible celebration, I don't care how bad his celebration is, because he is a great midfielder. I really, really love this guy. Todd Cantwell, good goal in the sixth minute. This guy's going to end up being our leading goal scorer if I don't pick it up soon. But I love friendly competition, and he's a great player. Here we go. Here's a chance to do something. I need I need assistance. I see you can't well. Please put that in the net, bro. Yes. Yes, can't well again. This guy's been on fire. If you guys remember in the last game he was on fire and again we're able to assist him with another goal. This guy's just been a goal scoring machine and that's already 2-0. Already 2-0 against Sheffield Wednesday. The keeper is disappointed with himself. Look at Cantwell, man. Dude's been a goal-scoring machine. All right. Can I please... Get, there we go. That's a good little pass-through. And can I please slam this into the net? Finally. Finally, a freaking solo goal. I've been needing one so bad. Just just me scoring goals. I've been needing to do this. I am the solo striker of this team, and I've been doing nothing but giving assists or good passes. Broke the guy's ankles. Put that right into the net. It's a decent goal. It's about time we scored two. We really, really needed one. Ooh, can we put one more in before the end of this half as well? I believe we can, honestly. Please. I'd love to. And we do. There we go. 4-0 Norwich absolutely destroying Sheffield Wednesday and we put ourselves into the net yet again we find the net there we freaking go we got ourselves two goals and an assist on this game that's not bad you know that's not bad I'm happy I'm happy and that's gonna be the end of that half we're gonna go ahead and simulate the rest of this match this match is pretty much over please tell me that Sheffield is struggling where is Sheffield Sheffield United they're not they're not even there I can't find them must not be playing today but that's the end. Let's go ahead and jump to result now and let's see what they give us. 4-0 victory. That's good enough. We got ourselves two goals. So I'm pretty, pretty, like I'm super satisfied with that. That makes me happy. That's the, exactly the result we needed when we're, going to go, when we're going to face West Ham in a couple of days. And actually, there it is right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. 22nd of September, 2021. It is our first ever Carabao Cup game against a Premier League team. Let's go ahead and check out the standings first. Let's see where the rest of the cup is. So this is round three. These are the results that have already been played. Arsenal beating Bristol City, um, Nottingham Forest, Southampton, West uh, Bromwich Albion beating West, or sorry, Southampton. Um, Spurs beating Sheffield Wednesday. They smacked them. Who else? Leicester City beat Millwall. That's a bad defeat there for Millwall. Manchester City beating Crew Alexandra. These are all the other teams as well. Manchester United took it out, took out Chelsea. That's crazy. And still to come, we have these games. I reckon Liverpool's winning. Oxford United and Derby County should be a pretty competitive match, but I'm sure Derby County is going to pick up the victory there. And we're facing West Ham, and Wolves are probably going to beat Forest Green. But I, I, I do want to check something real quick. Let's, let's scout out our opponents. Let's see where exactly West Ham is. In the Premier League, West Ham doesn't find themselves in the top 10? Wow. West Ham is in 14th place right now. Okay, the season did kind of just start. They do don't they don't have that many games in, but they don't they're they're in 14th place. They're they're kind of close to relegation. So two wins, one draw, and three losses for West Ham this season. So it's not really a really strong West Ham side. They're not looking quite amazing. 
by any means, but who knows? It's still a Premier League team. They're, they should still be leaps and bounds above us. Let's test it out. I'm excited, guys. We're facing our first ever Premier League team. This is what the future holds for us as well. I'm super excited to see. If we can get some Cantwell goals going in, that'd be hella amazing. But <laughs> our first time ever facing a Premier League team. We're here in London as well. We're in their stadium. We're in their territory. We're here in London. This is insane. Look at that. Todd Cantwell scored four goals in his last three games. I think we've set up like at least two or three of those as well. Look at the size of this stadium. This is a proper stadium, something we have yet to see before. Norwich versus West Ham. Round three of the Carabao Cup. Man, this is different. This is different. Look at all the fans in the arena. Everything just feels bigger. It feels like we're playing on a bigger pitch and all of that. This is insane. This match should be much more competitive than any previous match before. If we could do something early on here, that'd be so blessed. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a pass and a half. If I can get past this one guy. Ah, oh, I tried too much fancy stuff and I got caught up because of it. I totally deserve that. But we're still somehow on attack here. Oh my gosh, this would mean so much to me. There you go, bro. You got that. Pass that through. Poor pass. But defenders able to stop it. Can we get that ball back? And we sure do. Ah, uh, let's see. I see, I see you, Joe Cantwell. Joe Cantwell just over the ball or the post. And it was going to be an offsides anyways. Was it even? Nah, it was quite clearly offsides. Joe, or Joe Cantwell. I mean, Todd Cantwell was sitting offsides. Come on. Come on, baby. I need Cantwell in the, in the zone right now. Where's Cantwell? I see you, bro. Let me pass that to Cantwell. Come on. Header led to nothing, though. Defenders were able to stop it. This West Ham defense is looking real strong early on in this game. Despite this defense looking real strong, it's because they've had a lot to defend against so far in the 11th minute. We've kept up most of the possession and most of the attacks. I think for the first time ever, we're going to see West Ham attack. And hopefully our Norwich defense, which is pretty solid. It's pretty solid. I'm hoping we're able to keep up against them and not absolutely get obliterated. The West Ham is calculated and cool right now. They're making every pass meaningful. But our defense able to stop them. And, oh, that's a good pass to Cantwell. If Cantwell can give that ball to me, this will be a great setup. I'm sitting off sides right now. Come on, Cantwell. You got to do faster than that. And that's a good pass. But the keeper, speedy little keeper there, he's able to get there first. Fabianski of West Ham is able to get there just before me. I was going to slap that into the net if it weren't for that. That's a good, a decent pass from Cantwell. I think he's taking a little bit too much time though. There would have been a better play if he had sped up the pass way before then. But I can't blame the guy and it's okay because we're getting another chance here as well. Go ahead and pass that right there to the right mid. Oh, give that. There's a person wide open. That's beautiful. Come on, you got to score that. And he finds his way into the net. 20th minute is all it takes for Norwich City to put it in. 1-0 against West Ham. It doesn't get better than that. There we go, Steeperman with the goal. There we go. That's a beautiful pass into a beautiful shot. Let's watch this again. Look at this. Giving that pass straight to him. We're there in the backside just in case he missed, but he didn't. That was as beautiful as it's going to get. Right into that very, 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 very close to hitting the post, but into the net it goes. And Steeperman getting the first goal of the game. And surprisingly, we've taken the lead and we've dominated this game so far. West Ham hasn't had too many chances on attack though, so it's a little bit too early to speak, but this game is looking good for us, and that's a good pass as well. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, that's a good save from the keeper there. He's a little bit mad, Fabianski. He's mad at his defense. They're leaving me wide open to be able to do that. We're dancing around them, and if he could shoot that... Ah, come on, somebody get there. West Ham looking to push forward. They've been on the ball for quite some time, but they haven't been able to do with it. That guy on the right side there of the screen is wide open, but Norwich again. We have really good defenders. We're able to stop the ball. Oh, that's going to be a good shot from Nor. Oh, I thought it was going to be a good shot from West Ham. Completely bottled that, but they're going to get a corner off of that, though. It must have been a defensive stoppage, and will West Ham do anything? That's a good header, but it's just a little wide of the post there, and that's going to be a goal kick. This match is certainly far from over, and if we're not able to score another goal, we could be in some serious trouble. West Ham building up their possession. They didn't have much possession before then, but the last couple of minutes, they've been able to hold onto the ball for a while. Pretty much ball hog. They didn't do anything, of course, but they pretty much ball hog their way into getting the possession stat up. I'm telling y'all, 1-0 is not enough, and my defense is kind of letting them just 
hog the ball again. Like I said earlier, these guys are just holding onto the ball. They're not really going for any shots or anything. They're just holding and passing back and forth, but that's a good opening, and he chooses to just give up the ball in the middle. I'm not really sure what West Ham strategy is here, but I do know that it's not we're not we're not way too ahead so we do need to put something in the net already because oh yes and this is a good chance to do just that come on I see you bro I see you right there that's a good that's easy head how how did you possibly botch it that badly how did he miss the ball that bad I gave him such a perfect setup it was all him the defender even backed away from him practically and he just fell over with the ball on his shoulder Ah, oh, what a miss from the Norwich City to, uh, attacker. I don't know how we're going to recover from that, but that was such a bad play. And that's going to be a... If, if they're able to score or anything like that, that's going to... We're, we're going to look back on that as one of the biggest misses of the game. And one of our biggest mistakes. As they're taking the flank side, they're trying to get past their defenders again. They're just, they're just passing back and forth. I'm not sure what their strategy is, but it doesn't seem to be working. They're going to need to do a little bit more than just passing in between each other. And I'm, oh, come on. Nobody wants to pass to me. Are you serious? It's okay, though. The end of the first half. Liverpool leaves Cardiff. Love to see that. Newcastle leads Preston. Of course, I said Oxford and Derby would be a close game and Wolves beating Forest Green. Pretty much predicted all of those games correct. It's time for the second half. We're only up 1-0. This is nowhere near a good enough lead. We, lead, we I think we could use another two goals. We definitely need one, though. We need one because if it keeps going the way it is, West Ham is going to put one in eventually. There's no way they don't score with all the possession they've had so far in this game. There's no way they don't score. Although they do need to change up their attack though because they are just kind of passing in between each other like it's practice. But we find ourselves in a good position here. Good pass from Cantwell. I think I could... Yes, there we go. I didn't mean to do that, but I, I think I can find myself open in the middle there. That's a brilliant pass, and it's right past the goalkeeper. That's exactly what we want to see. We needed another goal, and we were able to get it, and that's going to lead to 2 0. And we're doing the little Randy Orton pose. I didn't even know this was a pose in the game. That's actually insane. The Randy Orton pose. I used to do that pose all the time. I used to. That was like my, my patented. Instagram picture pose. I love that. I love the legend killer. I didn't even know that was in the game. That's amazing. And we're up 2 0 now. We got ourselves a goal in the 50th minute, leading West Ham 2 0. This is looking real bad for West Ham now because, like I said, their, their attacks have not been much of anything other than passing in between each other. And it's going to be hard for them to score if they continue to do it that way. A brilliant attack here. Brilliant passing in between this team. And you're going to find me in the middle, bro. And. Oh, the keeper. It was right to the keeper. It was a really, really poor shot for me. I should have done it better. I meant to go more to the left there, but instead I just shot it directly at the keeper's face pretty much. Ah, I, didn't, I need to work it more than that. That's another shot that if we somehow go down in this game or anything like that, I'm going to look back on that and think that that was just a large mistake and what maybe caused their demise. But let's hope it doesn't get to that point. Brilliant pass from Cantwell. And if we can help Cantwell out... Give him his first assist in today's game. That's a beautiful header. That should be a goal. And that is. That was just a beautiful header. Beautiful pass. Everything about that was so perfect. And that's amazing. Can I see this again? I need to see the replay. Let's check this out one more time. Placetta is the goal scorer. Look at this. What a calculated pass. Beautiful for my player. Beautiful. And that's an unstoppable header. There's nothing you could do about it. That's just a beautiful goal. We find ourselves up 3-0 now. That should confirm our victory for sure. Here in the 78th minute, this is the hungriest you're ever going to see West Ham. So let's see if they change their play in any sort of way. They've pretty much kept it the entire game the same way. They're pushing to the left flank, which isn't something that's happened before. But again, West or Norwich defense, too good. We're going to be able to stop it there. And it looks like they're going to be able to get us on a counterattack now, but it's stopping. Regardless, West Ham has just played poor this game. I can see now why they're in the middle of the table, pretty much towards the back half of the table. It's because they, their attack has nothing to it, no meaning. It's just meaningless passing. And that's the end of the game. I didn't know if we could do it or not. Honestly, before the game, I wasn't too confident because because of the way we've been playing. We've just been playing so poor. We've been playing bad, but we came through. 
and we did it one goal one assist we played quite decent today after many episodes of playing really really poor we came through what it mattered most with a 4-0 victory against Sheffield Wednesday and the 3-0 victory against a Premier League team of West Ham United it's been quite brilliant and those are the results as well full time there we've knocked West Ham out that's insane and now that we check the calendar here we have Ipswich coming up in our next game and then after that we have Brentford both just regular championship games which I'm completely fine with the championship race is quite tight here we will find ourselves back in fourth place we're not too too far from second but a little bit of a distance between us and Sheffield United who are in first. Again, we have no time to sim anymore. We have to keep winning these games. And as you can see here in sixth place as well, one point behind us is West Bromwich, Al West Bromwich Albion. And check this out on the calendar over here. In the next Carabao Cup game, all the way here towards the end of October, is West Bromwich Albion. So we're going to be playing them in the Carabao Cup next. So them being right below us does mean a lot. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end that video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a big, it was a good episode. Seven nil victories in total. Two big, big victories that really, really needed to happen. That West Bromwich Albion one is a huge dub from us. Super happy about that. Cannot complain whatsoever. And yeah, we beat our first Premier League team. That's, that's a little bit of a, a little shining light for the future if we're able to go ahead and make it out of championship i hope we do but that makes me so happy after the past couple of episodes where i've played extremely poor at least i came through where it mattered the absolute most in the two most important games or at least two of the most important games that west Bromwich Albion one was i mean the west ham united one was definitely super important though and yeah we beat a premier league team today can't complain one goal one assist same thing for the sheffield wednesday game it's been great and i will catch you guys in the next one make sure you are subscribed down below so you can get more content like this i love making fifa content i also make other gaming videos i make irl videos amazon videos all types of videos so go ahead and subscribe down below I'm trying to hit 800 by the end of this year and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it i will catch you guys in the next one love you all peace